Hey there, Louis Yacobalos here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new meeting recap feature that was recently released in Microsoft Teams. Now, before I get started, what exactly is the meeting recap feature? Well, the meeting recap feature essentially takes the key elements of meetings hosted in Microsoft Teams and summarizes them now in the meeting invitation as well as the meeting chat at the end of the meeting. This is a pretty handy feature as in the past, in order to find files shared in meetings and to find the recording, you had to go to a bunch of different places in Microsoft Teams. Microsoft realized that it could provide users with a more frictionless experience by putting all of the content of meetings right in the meeting chat or in the meeting invitation for ease of access. Now, what you'll see here on my screen is I'm currently in a meeting and you'll notice that this meeting has some chat messages that were exchanged. You'll notice that the notes have been initiated and some notes have been added for this particular meeting. And you'll also notice that a file has been shared. Now, if I quickly click into the more actions button, you can see here that I'm also recording this meeting. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this meeting for all participants. And what that's going to do is it's going to now make the meeting recap available as the meeting has concluded. Now, before we actually view where to go to view the meeting recap in Microsoft Teams, what I've done here is I've just pulled up the Microsoft Teams meeting recap roadmap identifier. And you can see here that the way Microsoft describes this feature is that you should be able to view the key elements of meetings, including the recording, the transcript, if you have transcription services enabled in your Microsoft 365 tenant, the chat, and any files that have been shared from the chat tab of the meeting. Okay. In addition to in the actual meeting invitation. Okay. Now that's exactly what should happen. Uh, now what you'll notice is in my chat tab of the meeting that I just ended, you'll notice that there actually isn't any meeting recap displayed here. Okay. Uh, so that is something that's interesting. It's possible that Microsoft is going to be rolling out this feature in sort of two increments or waves. Now the alternative way to access the meeting recap is to click into your calendar and to click into the meeting invitation for a meeting that has completed. You can see here this team meeting is the meeting that I just ended. I'm going to click on it and click edit. And what you'll notice is the addition of the details tab. Okay. And this is where the meeting recap is displayed. So you can see here that the meeting recording is listed as an icon as well as the meeting notes and clicking on either of these is just actually going to bring you into the respective tab here in the meeting invitation. Now, again, as per Microsoft description in the feature ID in the Microsoft 365 roadmap, uh, after a meeting is concluded that the meeting recap should be displayed in the chat of this meeting. And you'll notice again that it is not displayed here in my Microsoft 365 desktop application as of yet. Okay. Uh, so it is interesting. It's, again, it's possible that it will be coming as sort of a two part feature release. Now that's it, just a quick tutorial showing you how to use the new meeting recap feature that was released in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like it, please drop a comment below. Also curious if this feature has hit your Microsoft 365 tenant, uh, what are you seeing? Are you seeing the details tab in the meeting chat as well? Uh, again, please drop that comment, let me know. Uh, and most importantly, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.